Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to introduce you to navigation component. So first uh, we're going to start this video by uh, uh, explaining you some details in theory and then we're going to uh, switch to practical examples. So uh, navigation component is a suite of uh, libraries, tooling and guidance for in-app navigation. Uh, the main principle of uh, navigation component is uh, using uh, one activity and uh, multiple uh, fragments. So navigation component uh, will make uh, our job a lot easier by uh, doing all the fragment transactions in the background for us so we don't have to worry about that uh, anymore and uh, before i show you uh, some practical examples of uh, navigation component uh, i want to tell you something about uh, this actual component in theory so uh, navigation component consists of three key parts so the first one is a navigation graph a navigation graph is a new xml resource type that defines all possible paths a user can take through an app it shows uh, visually all the destinations that can be reached from a given destination. So basically a navigation graph is a XML resource file uh, which we're going to create and uh, visually connect all our fragments or activities which, uh, with uh, each other. Uh, next is a nav host. So a nav host is an empty container that displays destinations from your navigation graph. A navigation component uh, contains a default nav host implementation named uh, nav host fragment that uh, displays fragment destinations. So uh, destination is a basically fragment or activity uh, so in this case for this tutorial we're going to use the uh, fragments and uh, and basically navhost will uh, uh, contain all our fragments uh, and uh, lastly uh, we have a nav controller so a uh, nav controller is uh, basically uh, controlling the swapping of uh, destinations content in the navigation host as uh, users move throughout your application so uh, now that we have seen uh, in theory how uh, everything should work and uh, what the navigation component is we're going to start by uh, uh, using some practical examples. So first, uh, we need to create a new uh, navigation uh, directory. But uh, instead of using this uh, old-fashioned way to create uh, uh, XML uh, resource files, we're going to use this uh, resource manager. And we're going to select this navigation tab. And inside that, we're, we're going to click this add button and it will prompt us to add navigation resource file. So the name of our navigation resource file, which is actually navigation graph, should be my nav. And uh, Android Studio will prompt us automatically to add uh, those dependencies for, for our uh, navigation component. And uh, let's wait until Android Studio uh, load uh, those dependencies. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this navigation directory appeared with this uh, navigation graph of ours. So this is uh, our navigation graph. Okay, and let's uh, first check our build gradle file here. Okay, so as you can see, there are two dependencies which are uh, automatically added here. So that's fine. Okay, so uh, on the left side we have uh, destinations and here we're going to see all our destinations written in text. Uh, on the center we have uh, we will see visually all our destinations and on the right side we have the attributes which we can of course change modify and so on you will see that so uh, first uh, we need to create uh, two fragments okay so uh, there is an old way you know uh, just clicking new file and then the fragment choose the fragment blank but there is uh, an easier way so we can click this uh, little icon which says add a destination and here we're going to create a new destination and it will automatically prompt us to add a, a fragment so our um, fragment will be named the first fragment and we are not going to include this uh, factory methods i'm going to use uh, kotlin as a language but you can choose java if you want okay so as you can see our fragment is uh, added as well here all right Okay, and next uh, let's add a new destination. Uh, the second the fragment should be named the second fragment. We're going to also uh, not include those uh, method. And uh, as you can see, we can move around those two uh, destinations. Okay, so uh, you might notice that uh, our first fragment has this uh, uh, home icon. And that means that our first fragment is a start destination. We can change the start destination easily by selecting a different destination and clicking right click and just selecting this set as a start destination. And as you can see our second fragment will have this uh, home icon now. 
but we don't want that for now. We want to um, our first fragment to have this uh, star destination. And on the left side, we can see those two fragments as well. And uh, of course, the visual representation of those fragments. Okay, so uh, you can also set that destination with this icon above. And uh, now uh, we are going to open up this first fragment and I'm going to speed up this uh, video a little bit. So uh, basically, I'm going to change the background color of this fragment and I'm going to add one text view. And that text view will say basically just uh, number one. And I'm going to copy this uh, uh, layout code and paste inside our fragment second uh, layout file. And I'm going to just change the number to number two and the background color to color ascent, for example. Okay, so those two fragments should uh, have the different colors. And now when we um, open up our navigation graph, okay, we're going to see uh, that those two layouts uh, are updated here as well. So that's nice. And now I'm going to connect this first fragment to this uh, second fragment. So just uh, click and drag this. Okay, and just let it go. And as you can see, our first fragment is connected to our second fragment. And we're going to drag this second fragment to our first fragment. So basically uh, here in our navigation graph is a place where we uh, create our navigation scheme. And how our application should uh, navigate itself. Okay, so as you can see, uh, here is a property tab and you can see and uh, add arguments and animations and so on. I'm going to talk that a little bit later. Okay, so uh, before I show you uh, XML of this navigation graph, let me just uh, uh, go to main activity layout and I'm going to add the nav host fragment here. So just drag that on our main activity layout and it will prompt us to uh, select our navigation graph. So I'm going to select that and as you can see it uh, automatically showed uh, our first and start destination which is the first fragment. So I'm going to connect the constraints and I'm going to set our fragment to match the parent. Okay and now when we run our application uh, we're going to see this uh, first fragment as our start destination. And of course as you can see this fragment uh, has uh, this nav graph which links to our navigation graph of course. Okay. So this is our uh, XML representation of our navigation graph. So here, as you can see, our root element is a navigation. And inside navigation, we have two fragments uh, and each fragment has uh, one action. Uh, also, there is a way to create a nested uh, navigations, but I'm not going to cover that in this uh, specific tutorial. So this XML uh, is uh, basic and I think you should all uh, understand how that works. Okay, so uh, the next thing, uh, let's run our uh, application to see that uh, first fragment. Okay, so this is uh, how our application uh, looks like at the moment. So our start destination is the first fragment. Alright, so uh, I'm going to open a first and second fragment classes. And uh, here I'm going to just uh, store this uh, inflated uh, layout inside the view object and I'm going to return the view. And below uh, and um, between those two lines, I'm going to set the on-click listener for uh, a text view from our first fragment. I'm going to use the navigation to find the nav control. I'm going to pass the view. And in this navigate method, uh, we should pass an action. So there are two actions which we created inside our navigation graph. And as you can see, uh, those actions are represented in these uh, lines and arrows. So if we open XML file, we will see uh, our action tag inside the fragment and the ID of our action. So uh, I just want to change the ID of those actions because I don't like uh, the current names. So the first action should be named uh, navigate to second fragment. Okay, and the second uh, action should uh, be renamed to something like uh, navigate to first fragment. Okay, so now that's more logical. And uh, here I'm going to pass that uh, I new ID, which is uh, navigate to uh, second fragment. Okay. And now I'm going to navigate to a second fragment. And uh, here basically I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, just now I'm going to pass a different action, which is uh, navigate to first fragment in this case. And now when we click our text view, uh, it will navigate us uh, to a second activity and from second activity to a first, uh, uh, sorry, and from second uh, fragment to a first fragment. 
Okay, so that looks nice. Uh, also, there is a way to animate uh, fragment transition. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's uh, very easy. So uh, first, let me just uh, uh, set those uh, constraints to zero so we don't see that white line uh, uh, anymore. Okay, now it looks fine. And uh, now let's head over to uh, navigation graph. So select this arrow, which is uh, an action. And here inside these uh, animations, we can choose enter animation, exit animation, pop enter animation and pop exit animation. So we're going to choose uh, enter animation. And as you can see, we can uh, select some of the default uh, animations from our Android Studio, or we can create uh, our own animation. So I'm not going to create a custom animation at this time. So I'm going to just select this uh, default anim and uh, for this uh, exit animation, uh, this one. And I'm going to select this uh, second action and uh, do the same thing. So nav default enter anim and the uh, second one uh, nav default exit anim. And now let's uh, run our application. So uh, let's see how this animation looks like. So if you might notice, uh, this is a fade in and fade out animation. So if you uh, haven't noticed uh, the difference, I'm going to uh, select the different animation. And uh, this time let's, uh, let's select maybe this uh, slide in and slide out. So uh, I prefer um, having uh, custom animations, but this is just for the tutorial purpose. And uh, okay, let's run our application again. So as you can see, this is a different uh, transition animation. But you can of course uh, experiment by yourself and uh, see which animation fits you the most. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can pass uh, arguments between uh, different destinations. And uh, that will be all for this video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.